don't move randomly. Like, don't do this. It is pointless. Like, this is, I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to have, like, high APM. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So the most important thing about CSing, I'll give you some tips about CSing. So one, one, one thing that's important in CSing is I noticed that some people at low MMR, they don't have their mouse on the, on the, on the creep when they're about to CS. So what it looks like is something like this. They're like moving around like this, and then right as they're about to CS, like right now, you're, you, I'm, like a higher level player, they literally just put their mouse on this creep and they don't move their mouse. They should just put it on, on top of the creep and they click it right as they want to see us. But the lower more people sometimes, they, they don't have the mouse on the creep yet. So it looks like this, and now they're about to see us and they click it, but it's too late. Their mouse was not on the creep. You know what I mean? So put your mouse on the creep when you're about to see us, like this. Like, I'm not moving my mouse, it's literally on top of the creep. I'm just waiting for the perfect moment to hit, hit it. Don't move randomly, like don't do this. It is pointless. Like, this is, I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to have, like, high APM. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Literally, just put your mouse on the creep and then you hit it. <laughs> the problem is, like, for example, let's say I have my mouse here and I want to CS it now. I need to move my mouse and I might miss trick and I'm just slower, you know? Did you about harass? Uh, so. Actually, okay, I can teach you a little bit about harass. So the way you want to harass is when enemy is trying to go for a CS. Uh, I'll show I'll show you a little bit better uh, when there's a bigger wave. So let's say this guy is about to go for the CS, like this creep. He wants to last at this. What you do is I start hitting him. So what this does is I aggro this whole wave. So now he can't last at it. You, you see this creep's HP? He's standing close enough to go for a CS, but he can't last at it because I aggro the whole creep wave. So th this H this creep is not losing HP, and if it, he if he hits the creep right now, I won't be able to deny this creep because his, he doesn't have enough damage to last this creep. So basically, what I'm trying to say is just harass the enemy when he's about to CS, because here I will get a lot of free hits in, and let's say he does go for CS, I will hit him like three four times, just for one CS, and this this is how you harass. You harass when the enemy goes for a creep. This is only ranged heroes though. Melee heroes, you can also do it on melee heroes, but obviously it's not as good because you're tanking the whole wave. But yeah, like, this is how the HP of this creep drops like, after this. So, if it hit, like, right as I aggroed, I will be able to get to deny. This is, like, the easiest part of the creep aggro. Just hit the enemy when he's about to see us. Is hitting enemy four times worth more or getting one free hit and deny? It depends, actually. So, Let's say you can make the enemy hero low HP enough for a kill, obviously you should hit him more. If he has a salve ready, you might just want to deny. Because two, la two lasted, or like three lasted, it's like one, one salve, right? So you need to deal 150 damage or more for you to not care about the deny. Uh, and uh, it depends on how much damage you deal. But it can be worth it, maybe not. You just have to think about like the goal efficiency and all that. You show some Tinker teams and tricks in demo. It, what you mainly need to learn as Tinker is how to farm and then how to use your blink. These are the two main things you need to learn. Uh, the, I actually don't know how hard it is to press the buttons fast. Uh, I, I don't remember having that big of a problem with it. Maybe it is a problem. Maybe then you just need to practice pressing your buttons fast. Um, but yeah, overall it's like where you blink and how you farm that's difficult with Tinker, in my opinion. Yeah, I use Quick Cast. Uh, it, it feels really good, especially when you play Tinker. You just don't have to press as many left click. Predict for enemy to deny. So what you do is you pull the creeper closer to you. So for it to be easier to see us, is you pull the creeper closer to you. And now, how the creeper looks like, it's it's literally right next to you. So it's easier for you to see us, it's hard for them to deny. That's, that's what you do. So you, not, not, not this creep where he needs to stand here, right? To deny your creeps. Uh, and you can't even hit him during this time. If he's standing too close. Then you just, uh, you know, you just last it. Sorry. I mean, it's not even like standing AFK before you last. It's like, you, you lit there's literally only one move. Like, w like it's so predictable. It's not like, it's, it's not, it's obvious. I'm going to go for this deny next. Like, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that I will go for this deny next. It doesn't matter if I run around like this or not. 
It's not like, oh shit, I'm distracting me. He, I'm, he, I'm not gonna see us the script. He's not gonna think I'm gonna see us the script because I'm, I'm moving, you know? It, it, that, that's not how it works. He, he knows that I'm gonna see us the script. It doesn't matter. That's literally the only other play. <laughs> so, yeah, it has nothing to do with predictability. It's just that you're wasting movement and you're making your mouse in a bad position by moving moving like that. How to take aggro? Sometimes it's not working. It's, it's if you're too far away, it doesn't work sometimes. Ours it always works. Like, if, it, if I'm close enough, I, I aggro, it works. Like, if, if I stand here and try to aggro, I'm only gonna get some of the creeps. Sometimes it's also because of vision. In mid lane, since he doesn't stand on his high ground, he, I don't have... I don't aggro if I stand on my high ground. He doesn't. This creep doesn't see me. But when they see me, I can always just uh, right click it and I, they, it will aggro. So range is like 400, I think. I think if I aggro here, I only get two of the creeps. Okay, I got zero. I got zero. Okay, the, the range is way shorter than I thought. It was like 300. Oh, actually, it's like I don't even know what this is. I think it's 300, right? So tier one t mid tower aggro is something that's not aggro. Uh, so how diagro works? I mean, I've had that bug sometimes where like it actually doesn't diagro, but it's very rare actually. But how tower aggro works is that uh, how tower aggro works is uh, when you eight click a creep, friendly creep, it resets the aggro to the front to the highest priority unit. So even if you're close, if you're standing too close to the tower and you diagro, you actually will still have the aggro. Uh, I'm not sure if you understand what I mean, but basically if, if this is like this. And I 8 click my creeps now, I will still have the aggro. Because I'm too close to the tower. If I stand a little bit further away, I will de aggro. Like if I, if I 8 click the creep. Because when you, when you de aggro, what it does, it, it resets the aggro uh, algorithm, or whatever it's called. Like, it, it starts hitting the closest unit. But if you're too close to it, then you will still get hit. I did, I did have a game where I actually lost my lane. I, I basically died because I couldn't de aggro. Which is bullshit. Like, because I understand how aggro works, but for some reason I can't de-aggro. Because the game is stupid. Sometimes people just forget. Because, so, wha what happens when you're about to die is that you're trying to live, right? And uh, you're using all your focus to live, and you just forget to buy items. Uh, you should always do it. You should always buy out before you die. But it's just that sometimes you're unfocused. I mean, sometimes you're just focused on something else. Distracted. How do click? A click an enemy here and don't aggro the tower. You need to be close, too, too far, uh, further away from the tower. So, tower has like a aggro range of like 450. So you need to st stay more than 450 range away from the tower and hit the enemy to not get aggroed. 